Trimming is a video editing essential. It helps determine how long or short your video clips are, which tells your audience what's important. In my experience, trimming can be a very long part of the editing process, but luckily Kapoing has made it super easy. So I'm going to be walking you through the basics on how to trim videos using our browser-based online video editing software Kapoing, and also give you some special tips on how to level up your content and start making the quality of videos that you want to be making. So let's do this. Before we get into trimming strategies, you are going to have to upload your video files into Kapwing. You can either click on the link in the description below or go to Kapwing, K-A-P-W-I-N-G dot com. Click get started and you will be brought to the studio editor. Once you're here, you'll see a couple options. You can click to upload your video files from your computer or just drag them there from your desktop. Or if you're pulling a video from a URL, you can just insert the link and it will download the video from there. Now that is a super cool feature with Kapoing because it is a browser-based software and not the downloadable software. I love this feature. I truly use it all the time. Once you get your files in, you will be taken to your timeline where you will see your video files uncut, untrimmed. Now is the time to get trimming. There are four main ways that we trim videos in Kapwing. The first is dragging the file ends. When you drag your mouse to either side of a video clip, you will see double-sided arrows. When you see those double-sided arrows, simply click and drag your video to trim it to where you want it. If you can't see the ends or you need a closer look at your file to see where you want to cut it, you can always zoom in or out with the magnifying bar up here or click fit to screen and your video will fill out the length of your timeline. If you change your mind, you can always untrim your video by following the same process and dragging the clip out. The sections of the video you cut will reappear and you can play around with this sliding bar until you have trimmed the ends to your liking. The second way to trim a video is the timing tab. Once you click the file you want to trim, you will see four tabs in the top right corner, edit, effects, transitions, and timing. Go ahead and click timing and you will be taken to these options. If you know the exact minute, second, or millisecond you want your video to begin or end, you can simply input that here and the video will automatically trim. You can also insert a freeze frame in this tab if you want to hold on an image a little longer than your video naturally allows. It will insert a still section of your video, which you can use to really highlight an incredible moment. The third way to trim your videos, especially if you're making internal cuts, is by using the split key. To use the split key, simply scrub along your video to find where you want to cut. Once you've found that and once that marker is in place, move your mouse over to just above the video to the left where you will see the split button. A small bubble saying split layer will appear. Go ahead and click that button and you will see your clip has split exactly where you wanted it. There is also a shortcut to this, which is the S key on your keyboard. Instead of pressing the split button every time you want to do this, you can always just press S for the same effect. This is super helpful, especially if you're editing as you watch, you can make quick notes about the parts you want to edit out. If you want to do this, go ahead and play the video, and as it is playing, press S as many times as you want to divide the clip into sections. Now, each of these sections functions completely as a different clip, so you can also go into these individual sections and drag the ends to trim the sides even more to your liking. Last but not least, we have Kapwing's Smart Cut. SmartCut is a really, really amazing tool that completely trims out all of the unnecessary silences in your videos. This is so helpful, especially for vlogs or for videos where what's being said is more important than what's being seen. This is a revolutionary tool, and if I had this when I was 16, I would have saved myself so many hours. To use SmartCut, all you have to do is click on your file that you want to cut the silences out of, and then go to the upper right-hand corner and click SmartCut. From there, you can adjust the sensitivity, but if everything looks good, go ahead and click done. And that is it. Your video is completely internally trimmed to tighten everything up, and you can always go back into each clip individually if you want to change or adjust anything. And a bonus tip, I find it super helpful to use the ripple mode while I'm editing. Ripple mode is a toggleable, toggleable? You can toggle ripple mode off and on using the icon next to the magnifying bar to the right of your editor. It looks like a line with two triangles on either side. 
Basically, this means that while you are editing, trimming, and cutting, your clips will always snap together when you delete internal sections, so you aren't always dragging clips together as you chip away at your video. I personally love this feature. I know some people like to drag each clip by themselves, and I like the efficiency of Kapoing dragging it for me, but you can toggle it off and on and play with whatever works best for you. And that is it. Those are your tools for success as you trim your videos. Once you master this, you have taken a huge leap forward in creating the videos you wanna create. Congratulations. As a reminder, once you are done with your video, you can go to the green export video button in the right-hand corner. You will be taken to a page where you can preview your work. If everything looks good, click download file and your video will download straight to your device. I hope this video helped you navigate trimming and gave you some confidence as you begin editing. If you have any questions or want more content on another specific function of Kapwing, please let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to keep up to date on the tips and tricks we have to make your videos incredible. And we will see you next time. Happy editing.